Hi everybody, I'm Leo CJ Drill. Now today's video, well, we're going to be building something. And believe it or not, we're building a tool. That's right. And it's not complicated. You don't need a whole lot of fancy tools to do this. And you can build it with pride and confidence, with minimal skills. And if you're advanced, well, you're going to enjoy it as well. Now what are we building today? We're building a couple of sawhorses. And what I will tell you is this, we'll save money in the process, it's a quick, easy build, and you'll be surprised at how often you need them. So maybe you're thinking, come on, Leah, sawhorses? And what I will tell you is this, sawhorses, they're underrated. They're a great tool to have in your shop and to also use outdoors. So this is it. This is what we're going to be building today, and it's a stackable I-beam sawhorse. And what I will tell you is this. It's an easy build, and every shop needs a good set of sawhorses. Now, what I want to tell you is, no matter what your skill level is, like I said in the beginning, you can, you can build this. And no matter what tools you have, you can build this as well. Now what makes this a simple build is the fact that all the cuts we make with a saw, and it doesn't matter if it's a hand saw or a circular saw or a table saw, all the cuts are what are called flush cuts. They're just straight across, okay? And so you don't have to worry about angles. And to be honest with you, the flush cuts are what add stability and strength to this build. So let's get started. Now to build one sawhorse, you need three eight foot two by fours. And now I'm gonna measure out 32 inches on six pieces. I'm striking my line, and now I'm going to make my If you don't have a miter saw, a hand saw will do just fine. So here's our cut pieces. We have six pieces that are cut at 32 inches in length, and then I have one piece, this piece right here, that's cut at 28 inches in length. So you'll have seven pieces in total. Now let's assemble our sawhorse. Now it's time to assemble our I-beam section. So I take the middle piece, put it here, take our top piece and put it on top. And now I'm going to screw the pieces together. Now it's time for me to fasten my I-beam pieces together. I've got a screw here with a little bit of lube on it. Even though I've got pilot holes here, it'll make the assembly process go a lot smoother. So that's it. Now I've got my I-beam assembled. It's time now for us to attach our legs. So I'm going to lay it on the side. I've got some marks here. That's where I'm going to lay my legs. Now I've drilled four pilot holes and we're going to nail it with a nail and a hammer. Okay, so I've got my two legs attached here. Now it's time to flip it over on the other side and attach my second pair of legs. Now that I've got three legs attached, I just have to attach my last leg here. I'm going to position that. I've already got my pilot holes uh, drilled and it'll make it easier to drive my nails. I won't have to worry about splitting my wood as well. So these are our two sawhorses. They're complete. I want to show you a couple features because this is very important. So one thing is the center piece of the I-beam, this here, it's recessed so that I can clamp to the piece of wood that's on top in the event that I need to clamp something down. That's why it's recessed. So let's talk about the top plate here because this is really important. Our top plate, this here, 
is sacrificial. And what that means is, if you've seen sawhorses, they're always cut into, okay? So once this takes enough hits, you're going to want to unscrew it and replace it and put a new piece of wood on. Because, you know, you're cutting with circular saws, you're using a hand saw on top of your sawhorses, and that's how it gets all cut up. Also, if you've noticed, I've recessed my screws, so if you are using a power tool like a circular saw, you don't have to worry about hitting metal. They're recessed, you're just gonna hit the wood. Now what's good about these I-beam sawhorses is the fact that they're stackable. You can stack one on top of the other on top of the other, and they're really great in small spaces. So that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple build, right? Three two by fours. That's all it takes to build really sturdy sawhorses that are going to last you a good long time. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time. Now, before I go, I want to mention this, and, and it's this, okay? A lot of times people say, Leah, you know what? You really helped me with a project. You know, saved me a whole lot of money. I'd love to buy you a cup of coffee. Well, guess what? You can now buy me a cup of coffee. That's right. I'm going to place a link in the description below to coffee. And if you buy me a cup, I will really appreciate a cup of joe.